So you see, as the Holy Spirit touches your spirit, he uses what you are going through. And, and we can share and we can evaluate on that. See, one of the biggest questions people ask is, I don't know if what I'm to share is of God or is of me. Maybe I ate too much pizza last night. Maybe I had too much kimchi. That's a spicy Korean dish. Maybe, maybe, uh, how, how do I know this is God? So you ask, is this God or me? And my answer is, yes. It's incarnational. It's God speaking through you. Okay, understand that. That's a very, very important principle. You know, when I first graduated from Bible college, I thought I was the hope of the world. I, I thought, wow, God, you are so wise. You chose me. <laughs> Thank God that was a long time ago. That was 50 years ago, my friend. I've learned a few things since that time. And, and, and I thought God uses spiritual people, dedicated people. I was, I was having a service, and the next day I was to fly out to Colorado to help raise money for missionary vehicles. And, and it was my final service before I'd be away for a couple of weeks. At that young age, God was asking me to do this great thing here in Colorado, in Colorado to go to all the different churches. And, and in the middle of that, God the Holy Spirit began to speak. And... You have to understand, friends, God was moving in such a way I couldn't even preach. You know, you know me well enough. If Jesus is coming in five minutes, I just preach faster. All right? And instead, God began to speak. And a young teenage girl got up at the back of the congregation and she said, Folks, you know I haven't been living for God. But such an anointing was on her. And she says, I want to tell you, don't go that way. It's not worth it. You need to serve God. I tell you, revival broke out in that service. We sat there for two hours sharing, confessing sin, ministering to one another, and sensing the, the presence and the power of God. And I didn't even get my sermon off that day. Wow. Incredible. You see, you understand. God uses male and female. He uses young. He uses old. He uses strong. He uses weak. He wants to pour out his spirit on all flesh. He wants to use every one of you. So be ready to be used of God. God's spirit touches your spirit. That's point number one.